Hey guys. Hey man. Hey, sorry we're late for movie time. Yeah, we were just trying to finish that last dynamic problem. No problem. I finished mine a little while ago. Read ahead for some pleasure reading. It's awesome. Yeah. Dynamics rocks, dude. Awesome. Here yes. Up. Hey Billy, how's that popcorn coming? Oh, it's great. Hey, what movie are we watching tonight? Spider-Man 2. It's a great movie. Yeah. And it's totally believable. Since somebody can be bitten by a radioactive spider and take on all their powers. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. See right here, Spider-Man punches him in the face repeatedly. In Spider-Man 1, when Spider-Man's fighting the Green Goblin, he punches a concrete column and the concrete is obliterated. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So if Spider-Man can completely obliterate a concrete pillar, he could have crushed Dr. Octopus's face. That's right. Or should have. That's right. That's right. His face. That's right. You know what, guys? I think it's Mythbusters time. Let's go to Drift Mark. Oh yeah. Tyler. Hey guys. Hey man. Uh, feel pretty good? Yeah. Well, let's go inside where we can brainstorm. I always think more clearly in drift fire. I spend so much time here, it feels like home. <laughs> Okay, so here's the deal. If Spider-Man can break a concrete block, sure, they can surely bust Dr. Octopus's face. Yeah, man. So we're trying to devise a way to test a cinder block to see how much force Spider-Man's punch contains. Our sketch shows our first idea, which was to smash the cinder block using a sledgehammer. Did you get that? But it proved difficult to analyze. So we're trying to decide on our next idea. How high are you? Seven feet. Seven, Seven feet. feet. Seven feet. Second trap. Awesome. What's the reading on that? Whoops. So we decided to drop the sledgehammer. <laughs> we can use a motion sensor to calculate the actual force. Hey, where do you think we can do this safely? Okay. Here's the deal. So we're going to try a variety of heights so we can get some good scientific numbers for our experiment. For the first trial, we're going to try three feet. Then for the second trial, we're going to do six feet. First height is going to be three feet. So we'll measure off how high three feet is going to be. Got it. Six feet. One, two, three. 
The next couple of trials are going to get a little tricky. So we're trying to figure out how to get a little bit higher. Our next height was from nine feet. Okay, one, two, three. And then we dropped from 12 feet to finish off the experiment. One, two, three. Nine feet ended up being our smash height. So we started at three feet, went to six feet, then to nine, followed by, finally by 12 feet to try and find the smash height for these cinder blocks. Okay, here's the deal. We performed a lot of trials trying to break the block. And we broke a lot, sometimes better and safer than others. Okay. Center block experiment, take one, Bernie. Bernie, are you okay? Bernie, you're gonna make it, man. You gotta make it, Bernie. Bernie. Pull through. I got it. Bernie, I'm so Bernie. sorry. Cut it. Cut it. After many trials and many broken center blocks, we have our data. We were able to find the force to crack it. That's not what we're looking for. We're actually looking for the force that it took to totally smash it. After many trials, we found out the height to completely destroy the block was nine feet. Then we calculated the force. So we found out how much force it took to break a person's jawbone from a very reliable source. We found some medical journals online that had performed an experiment where they found that a high impact punch is 770 pounds. The 770 pounds is the force it would take to fracture several bones in their face, leaving them disfigured. <laughs> we used our trusty impulse and momentum equations and our favorite Logger Pro program with our motion sensor to find the exact force. We found the force at the smash height of 9 feet to be greater than that 770 pounds. Okay, here's the deal. In, if Spidey did hit Dr. Octopus with the same force we hit that cinder block, then Dr. Octopus would have suffered a massive head trauma and... Well, died. So our conclusion is, this myth is busted. Totally busted. And Hollywood is a liar. Thanks for tuning in to Mythbusters, dynamic style. Well, we had a lot of fun making this video and they had a good time and enjoyed it very much. And we appreciate everybody that helped us out while making the video. And we hope you enjoy a few bloopers and outtakes.